Imperial Assault. Yeah. Been, I don't know how long it's been. I, it feels like it's been a little while. Been busy with Legion and X-Wing and other stuff. Once again, for whatever reason, there is not an Imperial Assault Regional in the entire state of Arizona, despite to the best of my knowledge, there being a dedicated and healthy Imperial Salt community up in Phoenix. So uh, I think I'm going to end up going to Denver again uh, under the pretenses of visiting family. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and since, like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to play, I'm going to Spectre Cell uh, because I like the characters, I like my paint jobs, and it's kind of easy mode list right now, so... Okay, um, so I got, yeah, the Spectre Cell, my one point extra. This time I'm trying out extra armor to toss on some block power tokens. I am playing Imperials, and since I knew I needed to try and figure out an answer to Spectre Cell, I uh, got an idea for a list from the uh, Twin Troopers uh, Discord room. Uh, and so I'm literally just playing what was suggested there. And so it's Palpatine, Vader with his fix, Thrawn, cross train riot troopers, two officers, then Zillow, Rule by Fear, and Unshakable. A lot of powerful looking bad guys over there. Yep, I decided qu quality versus quantity. Well, I mean, yeah, I've got six figures, you've only got seven. This is gonna be interesting. And we are playing on the BT000, what is it, the Tarkin Initiative Labs or yep. something. Rogue AI scenario A. So we've got, uh, it's just whack-a-mole, I guess. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta stand on colors and then the color you need to stand on changes. So, Imperial Salt, away! Yeah. I have elected to give my extra armor two to Ezra, one to Hera, one to Kanan. I have initiative, so I go first. So yeah, essentially what happens, if we move into this space, the one we have marked here, you'll get two points if you move into that space. Then you randomly pick one of these, and it'll tell you which of the other three it'll move to. So it's, yeah, it's just whack-a-mole. Um, after deployment, Hera's Smooth landing, we'll uh, send these folks this way a bit. As good as this is, I don't, so I'm trying to decide what to discard for Rule by Fear. I'm having a hard time. And as good as this card is, this is not a beginning of the game card. I also like to live dangerously. You're gonna love this. This is best case scenario right here for me. I'm gonna go with Sabine. So she's gonna go one, two, three, Doors aren't locked, right? No, for, I guess I'm actually gonna open that door with her. What you're gonna live is, I'm gonna play Rebel Graffiti, which I happen to draw round one. I get two points. If I'm Sabine, I get to redraw it. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Art. Kidoka. I feel like drawing that round one is just the best you could hope for. So, no, no, we're good. I'm not worried about that card. We are good. How about this officer? He will, action one, open the door. Action two, tell Raider to go to. <laughs> I should put more leader cards in here. One, two, three, four, five leaders. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go with Zeb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I get those two points for entering that space. Okay. And now it changes. It's going to yellow. Excellent. You should have told me you were bringing Vader. I brought my painted one. Especially since everyone else in your list is painted. Shame! Shame! I guess I'm gonna go with the riots. Play Intelligence Leak. Using your activation, look at your opponent's hand. I may choose and discard oh, a command cross -trained. card. cross-trained. I can what? choose and discard a command card from it and then suffer strain equal to the card's cost. I can pretty much tell you <laughs> what it's gonna be, uh, but I'd like to take a peek at what else you get in here. Damn it! That. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rebel the Freedies out of there and I'll take zero strain. Uh, so this guy will go one, two, three, four, two, three, four. I'm going to blue. And then his buddy's gonna go one, two, three, four, and open the door. Um, since they don't have any block tokens at the end of their activation, they each get a block token. One, 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 two. Chopper is going to go one, two, three. Do a system shock on that guy. He takes two damage and a strain. I got too many good cards in here, so we'll just take three. All right, then I am system going to 
exhaust Spectre Cell. And choose another friendly figure, Sabine. She gets to gain two movement points and interrupt to perform an attack. She's gonna move one and shoot at that same riot trooper. You using it? Yeah, I'm trying to decide here. What are you, what are you rolling? Blue, green, green. Pew pew. Yeah, that's fine. You blocking four. I'm showing three with three surges. You have what, add one and, and blast, pierce two. And pierce two. So yeah, I'm not gonna let the pierce go through. Okay, so I'm so just adding one, which means breaking. nothing happens. Yeah. yeah. But you spent that, which is cool, I guess. What about this officer? I'll start by planning. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go with Hera. Hera's gonna go one, two, three, four, and shoot at that guy. This is range one, two, three, four, five, six away. Yeah, I'll just roll it. You're gonna get smoked, buddy. I've got the range. I've got a damage and a surge to work with. She can surge for one damage. So gonna... I need to pitch a card then to keep his ass alive. Yeah, you 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 have to you add one to get two. So yeah, so I'm gonna pitch that. Brace for impact. I should have just played it and got the extra die, but yeah. Okay. He takes one. Yep. Let's see what kind of ruckus we can uh, get up to with Vader here. So let's see what he has built-in damage now. Brutality's office card. And I can reroll an attack dice. And then I get the end of the round effects. I played Price of Glory. Um, so I would remove a harm condition if I had one and then gain two movement points. So one, two. And then I can take a damage and gain two different power tokens. Okay. So he'll take a damage and a surge. Since he can now reach more than Sabine, he's gonna go oh, one, two, three, four. Okay, I don't like it. And I think I just really feel like seeing if I can pop Hera all in one go. Okay, Hera is going to spend her token she got from the extra armor. Of course. Spectre Cell gives her one can, of those for can free. Can I only use one of these at a time or? Correct. Okay, so to decide on the extra damage or the surge. The surge makes a lot more sense with what he's got. So I'm gonna put the surge in play. Uh-oh. That was a hell of a roll. Mm, blocking that. So I'm gonna spend surge one, because I got this one and this one. Mm -hmm. I'm send one surge for pierce three, and I'm gonna spend one surge to add two. So if you're piercing three, that's all of my stuff, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, because of this? Yeah, that's a dead person. Oh boy. I need to reroll an attacking die. That was damn near perfect. Um, well, I've got uh, heroic effort. So I can draw a card and then put one on the bottom of my deck. Well, I guess I'll go with Kanan. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Playing too much Legion, and then he's gonna take a dodge token. <laughs> she just saves that Spectre Cell for later. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave him there, I don't know. Cause now Vader can make an attack attack on him, but Kanan is also close enough to help out Sabine or Chopper if he, they are the target of the attack, so whatever. What bonuses does Cannon give somebody? He can let them reroll their defense dice. Uh, so I'll go Thrawn. Uh, at the start of his activation, since it's round one, I get to distribute a token. Giving Vader back a surge seems really fun. His strategize, I look at the top card of each player's command deck, and then I may discard one of those cards. It is on the lamb. Yeah, you can definitely discard that. God damn it. Uh, mine goes back. Then I'm gonna play for C. Use during my activation to look at the top two command cards of your opponent's deck and discard one of those cards. Ugh. And if it costs one or less, I get to draw one card. Positioning advantage and force surge. To move one space, then choose a figure to first two damage. That's three damage, I can't afford that. Uh, stop picking on specters. So then Mr. Thrawn gets to go to one, two, three. That makes it one, two, three, four away. That sounds better. Four. Hmm. I'll take a shot at Sabine. And she gets that because of Spectre Cell. So blocking that, blocking one of those. I'm looking at three damage right now. Yep. Yeah, nothing I can really, I can't reroll into better than that, so. Uh, I guess I got Ezra left. I think I'm just gonna put him over here. 
One, two, I'm gonna, he's just gonna go right there. So we're gonna see what happens here. Get up. Poppy? Yep, oh wait, I forgot that he does stuff. Maybe I'll leave Ezra back, whatever. Okay, go ahead. I'll use his uh, Emperor ability first. That has like a range limit, right? Two, three, four, four spaces. Thrawn's gonna shoot at Sabine again. Uh, it's like it's another three. I'm is gonna, that token in there from last time, or is that it's this always one? there oh, it's because always there. of Spectre Cell? Okay. Um, uh, so it looks like two. Yeah, two. Or I could re-roll. What does he surge for? What does one surge get him? Pierce one. Okay. So if I roll and fail, I'm only taking one more damage. So I'm gonna use Kanan's ability to make her re-roll since she's not a force user. Kanan suffers a strain. So re-roll Sabine. Okay. So now that's one damage. Oh, you need How much for damage does Sabine have? Four out of 11. Now the question is, is what does Palpatine want to do with his two actions? Because he can only go three. He can't get within four to lightning. But he's a whole lot tougher than Thrawn is. And the one, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the end of the round. Yep. Card draw happens first. So you draw two, I draw one. Just because I have more people touching it, it's still contested. It's still contested. Right. Uh, so I use um, Vader's thing. So you can move up to two spaces if you want. Since I've already contested that, I don't even need to be next to the terminal anymore. Chopper thinks you should stay there. All right, so I can either do Force Choke, which is just a flat two damage and a strain, or I can roll an attack minus one dice. I think I'm gonna just drop the yellow dice and use my surge token and hope you don't roll a freaking surge cancel. <gasps> I see one of those in a long time. God, that's rude. <sighs> I mean, you still get to go first next turn anyway. Try again with all your dice. So start around two. Oh, that was rude. I'm gonna go with the riots before that guy dies with his one, one health. <laughs> So this guy's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I'll bank that. Two points. Uh, we'll flip this one up, green. Oh man. Excellent. And so then this guy's gonna go one, two, three. Let's go with the middle one, back to red. Uh, so if I go four, one, two, three, four. Uh, this one. Back to blue, okay. That's definitely the best case for me in that it keeps it very far from you. And then he, this guy over here gets his thing back because he doesn't have one. Sabine is going to do an evasive maneuver, move up to two spaces, then recover. Parting blow. Before that figure moves, perform an attack targeting that figure, and then I become stunned. Well, it's better not kill me because I'm recovering too here. So Vader which I this stunned when it's all said and done, but this I'm gonna, attack happens before my recover. I'm gonna put my uh, my one damage token into the pool, and then red, red, yellow. <gasps> Are you? Max damage. The perfect roll. Seven, pierce three, eight, nine, ten damage, pierce three, dude. Need to oh, sorry, 11, because of his built-in whatever. Retiring this time. Get out of here, dude. This time, I need to. God. That would have that would have melted her right there. Woo. She would have just, like, her head would have come off. <laughs> she would have just. God damn. Rude. Uh, so she Rude. recovers, too. So she only has two damage right now. God, that would have just mm, bisected her. Ooh, more than that. I think he would have forced thrown and the lightsaber would have like cubed her in a little. <laughs> oh, that was so rough. Okay, so that was her first action. Back away, recover two. Uh, she is going to do parting gift. Once during activation, I can choose a space. Within three spaces, roll a green die. Everybody around it takes damage equal to what it shows. So I'll just pick right there by Vader. And well, one, two. You know what? I'm going to pick there. Okay. So maybe we can hurt Palpatine. Just a green die. We get uh, one damage on Vader and one damage on Palpatine. And now for my last action, I'm gonna shoot at Vader. I'm gonna play tools for the job to toss in a red die. Okay. Red, Two. green, green. Two blacks. Blue. I get a one of those guys, which I think I've forgotten about earlier. You get to re-roll one of them, don't you? Uh, yes. I don't have any re-rolls. Okay, 
So you're blocking uh, those two. That. So four damage. Five damage. Five damage on Vader. All right. That's pretty, all right. All right. Roll. We're going to exhaust Spectre Cell. So somebody on my team gets to move up to two spaces and perform an attack. That somebody will probably have to be Ezra, because Kanan is just too far away to make that happen. So he's gonna go one, two, touch his face there. <laughs> he looks like he's <laughs> caressing Vader's face. It's like, shh, shh. <laughs> uh, okay, so now Ezra is gonna make an attack. Which is while attacking, if there's another friendly figure within three spaces, I can re-roll a die. So he gets a re-roll and attack die. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, Kanan is within three. So I get to turn one of his attack dice to any side. Oh. With a re-roll. Re-roll that one. I guess I get to re-roll <sighs> first, but oh. you re-rolled into the same thing. That's right. My re-roll is going to be turn, I want to, I need two surges. Okay. You're blocking four. So I'm going to pierce two, which you can get rid of with, I mean pierce three. Yeah, I got to get rid of something. So now I'm piercing one. My other surge is gonna add two. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. You're blocking three, so he takes three. Okay, he's got 10 damage on him. Sabine Ezra back. hasn't actually gone yet. That was the he has not gone. spike yourself thing. Yeah. Excellent, so I'll go with Vader. He's I'll, stunned, right? Uh, oh yeah. Exhaust this card to start up my activation. Choose one of my figure costs a nine or greater. Discards one harmful condition and suffers a strain. And I'll just take the top deck. Strategic shift. That was a good call. Oh, that's a, I think that's the first time I've seen someone use Unshakable, and to a really good effect. Two parting blows in here. You can't have Vader stunned. I see why it's in here now. At first I was like, Vader's the only one that can do Unshakable on this list? And I was like, oh, parting blows. Unshakable. Uh, I'm gonna play Looking for Fight, then either move one space or push an adjacent small figure up to one space. So I'm gonna move your Ezra over here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that takes him out of the bubble of whatever bonuses you're getting from Kanan. One, two, th yeah, he's four spaces away from Kanan now. And so then, for starters, I'll choke him. Ah. Two damage and a strain. I will make that two damage and get rid of a card. There goes planning. Then I will use my attack. I don't fear you. Then you will die braver than most. I'll put my power token in the pool, two red and a yellow. Okay, Ezra gets this from Spectre Cell. He gets this because he's Ezra, that he just has one built in. And oh. since I had extra armor, I am going to uh, put one of those in the pool. But I don't get any rerolls from Kanan. Um, I will choose, because I get to choose. You get to reroll a die, don't you? Yeah, I lose brutality, but when I'm attacking, I get to reroll a die. Plus, I get this from my Driven by Hatred card. Yeah, okay. Do I want more damage out of the red, or do I want that? I need the surge, because then I can pierce three and get rid of a lot of those blocks. Nope. Well, two awful. damage? Because I'm blocking this stuff. Yeah, yep. Uh, two more damage on Ezra puts him at four out of 10. Yep. Uh, okay, well, I think we should go with Ezra. I'm gonna play Smuggled Supplies. I could recover two, but he has Surge to recover two, so I'm gonna say apply one Surge to his attack results. I'm gonna move, uh, you got two parting blows, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I kinda wanna move again. You know what, maybe I just wanna recover two then. Especially if I move and get close to Kanan, I can just turn my die to whatever I want it to be. So yeah, I'm gonna recover two with this card, which puts Ezra at two. He is going to move over here. No parting blow. Okay, and then he's going to attack Vader. Um, this comes in from Spectre Cell. My rerolls are first. I want to change this into that because Kanan, a force user, is nearby. Okay. We've already tapped Zillow, so I could pierce three and get six damage. How much do you have left? Six. Yeah, I think instead of recovering, I'm gonna have to spend my one surge to pierce three and then six damage goes through. You gotta pitch that to Zillow. Take initiative is not what I wanted to pitch. So, one left on Vader. And I guess he's got four movement points left. Or three movement, he went one, so I can go two, three, four, he'll go over here. Running away like a chump. I don't wanna get shock therapy. 
Oh, if Sabine would have just got cut in half and not put like <laughs> five that. damage on Vader, I'd have been happy as hell right there. I'd have been all right. If he still had like 10, I'd be like, cool, let's go. So this little guy right here changed the course of the game. Sure does. Which all right. makes me feel like, you know, your list is definitely One, performing better than two, mine. One, two, three. You haven't had to rely on a dodge. He's now within two of Vader, so you can tell Vader to move two. Oh. oh. And then he's going to go back here with his fourth movement. Damn it. I wanted to use Chopper to ram Vader to death, because Chopper can... No, nah, Vader's <laughs> like, I got one left, bro. I got to go. He has to, like, stay in the background and just force choke people now. <laughs> I really wanted to kill Vader with Chopper. I'm yeah, going to go with Chopper. I'm going to do a move. I'm actually going to move him here. And then he's going to system shock that guy. So two damage on that officer and a... No negation. I thought that's what you had been holding on to for a while. No, I had been holding take initiative. That was a no-brainer keeping Vader alive. Yeah. Because his force choke has no range. So he and he's, what, uh, 13, 13 points? 13 points, yeah. yeah. He has Zeb and Kanan. I'll go to this officer. One, now that he's within two of Thrawn, he'll tell Thrawn to go two. Oh, uh, okay. And then two, three, four, just in case. <laughs> right. When that guy dies, I got somebody else to take that terminal. <laughs> I thought, ooh, if I can keep it on the blue and kill this guy, since none of your guys are over here, it's just, I'll leave it there and then it's a fight because you're in a better position to keep stepping on these buttons. All right, well, I'm gonna go Zab. He is going to shoot at that guy. Okay. He gets a red-green attack. He has three accuracy built in. You get a black die. He's probably got a black token. Yeah, he does. And yeah, I guess I'll roll a black die because those guys are cross-trained, so I actually have the option of rolling a white die. But since he's full health, I'll roll black die. Uh, you got two surges to work with, or enough damage because you got yeah. two surges. So our and tokens a, cancel each other. Yeah, two surges and a damage. I will surge to add two, and the other surge is worthless. So three so damage. Three damage on that guy. Okay, then his second action. He's going to, he's going to move. He's going to go one, two, three. <laughs> what happens if I just camp a guy on each one of these? And you have to move into it, oh. so you'll still have to like You'd move off You have to move out and move in, yeah. so yeah, it's better to just... So he's going to go here. I'll get two points from that thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it forces you to get the most out of your way than if it was on red or green. And then Zeb... Bow rifle, staff strike. Once during your activation, I can perform a melee attack using two red dice without spending an action. Oh, snaps. Two red dice on that guy. Uh, he's going to put his token in the pool, and he's going to opt to roll a white dice. Mm, four. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Good old riots. He just ducks that swing from Zeb. Grr. Get real fast. Uh, so Thrawn's going to go. So this is round two, so I get to dip out two. He's gonna give himself a surge, and he's gonna give Vader a block and hope that two black dice on <laughs> block token is gonna keep his ass around. Then he's gonna choose to shoot at Chopper. I want that little prick out of here. And he's gonna put a surge token in the pool. Uh, I'm gonna have Kanan. Oh, shoot, hold on, before I shot, I should have done this other one too. Look at the top card of each of our oh. command decks. You can discard. Damn it. I love officer's training. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Kanan. He is going to tell Chopper to re-roll since Chopper's not a force user. Kanan takes a strain there, gives an inspiring speech, like I was ever gonna use that with Harrigan. Hey! All right, now what are you surging for? So you're blocking four. I have double surges, so I'm adding three damage. Okay, so. So I'm looking at seven, you're subtracting three, so he's gonna take four. Or you're subtracting four, he's gonna take I'm taking, yeah, three. three damage on Chopper. Which, uh, he's got five health. He hasn't moved yet, has he? So he's still got an action left. No, the officer put him in position. He's got a good angle of shot, so I gotta leave him there as much as I don't want to. So I guess Kanan, I don't know what Kanan wants to do. I kinda want him to stand in front of Chopper. Well, if I put Kane in there, Vader's able to walk out and hit him, but that's fine. If you wanna walk out with Vader when I have initiative next turn. Since I can't take it. Kanan's, I guess he's just gonna Take a shot from Thrawn. Yeah, I, I guess I'd rather have Kanan minutes. take a hit than Chopper die. Okay, Palpatine's turn. He'll tempt Thrawn, he'll give him a power token, and Thrawn, Thrawn takes a damage. Then he's gonna use his Emperor ability to tell him, a guy within four spaces to attack, so Thrawn's gonna go. Thrawn will take a pot shot at Kanan, because that's my only choice now. Put that in the pool. I'm gonna spend Kanan's power token he got from extra armor. 
Garbage! Huh. Well, so, you're not canceling my surge, right? No, you've got two surges to work with. Yep, and plus is my yeah, triple, I triple a, damage, so. Well, I, I can reroll with his thing, and it doesn't cost him anything because he's a force user. So I'm going to just reroll my thing here. Two, so I'm, I'm blocking four. If you add three damage, one damage will get through. Yep, that's fine. I did something. Okay. Good thing I tempted him. <laughs> yeah. So Palp is going to go... One, two, three. yeah, okay, he can go here. And that's one, two, three, four spaces away. So now he'll force lightning. Force lightning is four spaces away. Uh, that figure suffers three damage and becomes weakened. You will be destroyed. <laughs> each figure adjacent to that figure suffers a damage. So Sabine and Kanan each get another damage. Yep. Get. We're here to entertain. Uh, well, I'm here to try and not suck at regionals, but I am going to play Dying Lunge on Chopper. <laughs> when you are, have suffered damage equal to your health, before you're defeated, move up to two spaces. He was on the thing. He's going to go one, two, perform a melee attack, then I'm defeated. So he gets to swing at this Riot Trooper who Riot's doesn't have any tokens. Riot's going to roll a white dice because he's cross-trained. Chopper's got a red-green. Hey, we got him. So you got the three for Chopper, he's worth two. Two for the Riot. Good job, Chopper. <laughs> I'm like, it's probably not worth this card when I could, you know, obviously use it on Kanan or Ezra. But I can take a figure off the board. Um, that, that's the round, huh? Yep, so cards first. We'd try two. Yep. End of rounds. End of round. Uh, starts with you, so Vader. But you have initiative and I'm hella exposed otherwise. And that's 13 points and we're running close on time. So, Vader's gonna take his two move. One, two. <laughs> He's gonna go pick up that objective. All right, I don't have any end of rounds that I know of. This comes to me. Start of round, Ezra is brash. He can move up to four spaces. One, two, three, four. Hello, mister. Uh, start with Ezra, he's gonna play Force Rush. Start of your Activation, gain two movement points. He's going for it. Hello. We are going to attack Darth Vader. All right, Ezra gets this guy. This thing's totally going in the pool. Let's soak all this uh, damage. Nobody close enough for rerolls. Mm, not great. You get a reroll on those. You don't have any rerolls? Nope. My friends are too far away. Uh, I'm going to reroll that for sure. Hmm. So... Well, that's good, actually. Yeah. So you're blocking four. And I, I had too many surges to begin with. I'm showing three, three damage. Three surges. Oh, yeah, you got this thing, so... Three damage and three surges. And you're blocking four. Yes, you're already down one damage. Well, I'm going to uh, surge to pierce three. I'm gonna make it pierce one. Okay, so let's just get rid of this guy. So now you're blocking three, and I'm showing three. And I have two surges left to work with. Yep. Now it's your time to decide if you're going to pitch a card or not. I can surge to add two more. That's all I can do, which I think is enough to kill me. Yeah, even if I pitch a card, I'll still be down yeah. one. So damage. I'll surge to add two. And my other surge is going to be recovered too. And now he's a full health. Yeah, I, there's no way I can save him. Mr. Vader, man, you got hosed by the dice. So I'm going to use his second action to... Go one, uh, he'll go here. Give Thrawn a little shoulder rub. I'm gonna use Spectre Cell to tell Kanan to move too. And attack Thrawn. Okay, buddy, you gotta hang in there. One turn, I need two shots out of you this turn. I'm gonna play Death Blow. When you declare a melee attack, apply, so this is my Spectre, apply one, damage to the attack results. If the defender has a pistol attack type, a range attack type, add an additional damage to the attack results. Plus my bonus from Spectre. Ooh, ooh boy. So two, four, six, seven damage. He's still alive. He's got what, nine? I'll pitch um, parting blow since all I got is that one riot trooper left, so he'll have two damage left on him. All right, we'll go Thrawn. Uh, I'll start with his Strategize and look at the top card of both of our decks here. Yeah, element surprise can f off. Oh, man. Then I get to hand out three tokens. 
So he is going to give himself that. He's going to give Palpatine that. He's going to give himself another surge if I can. I don't know. Kanan's going to wax him. Because I really want to trigger his extra damage. So then he's going to take a move action. You're going to parting blow me. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> uh, so there's two. Then he's going to shoot at Sabine. Because uh, she's yeah. kind of the closest to dying, right? All right, so I'm going to shoot at her. And she does not get any re-rolls. Blue, green, yellow. Because Kanan left. Roll. I, I don't need all those surges now. I'm blocking that and one of those guys. No, no, you're blocking that. Or, yeah, yeah, and one of them. So I have one damage and four surges to work with. Uh, yeah. So two of those surges will add three and one of them will add pierce one. So basically, this is these two dice are taken care of. This is gone. I pierced it. And so that's two. Adding two more is, or three more. So it's five, right? Y y yes. Puts her at eight. Damage. And then he has two movement left, so he will go one, two. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go with Sabine. I don't know if this is a good call, but Sabine is gonna do an evasive maneuver to go one, two, and heal two. And she's gonna take a move action, go one, two, three, four. Yeah, she's speed four. It's time. All right, well, I guess this is the last round, huh? I needed her points! Is there any way this can go differently? I'm gonna, You're only down I'm by gonna, six points. I'm gonna go points. with the damaged officer. I'm gonna tell this guy to move two. Which hopefully now puts him out of Kanan's range and then he's just gonna go two. Or two here. Oh man, yeah, if you could have killed Sabine, that would have been... Uh, it would have flipped it around for me. Uh, I guess we got Kanan and Zeb. Kanan can go one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think I can get to a throne, huh? I guess I'll just go Zeb. Free melee attack against that guy? Double red. Um, I guess he doesn't have a token, so I'm just gonna roll a white dice because he's cross trained. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Ninja Shielding Riot up. Trooper over there. Shielding it up. Okay, then he's gonna go. Let's see if he can get far enough. I didn't count. One, two, three. No, he can't get far enough to bother Thrawn. No, he's one shy of being able to shoot at Thrawn. So I guess we'll just shoot at that trooper. <laughs> Roll that white dice again. Try that three times in a row, buddy. Ah! <laughs> I got the dodges I needed, though. I needed Vader to stay alive, dude. All right. You've earned your life, Riot Boy. <laughs> He's like smashing his knuckles on his shield. Like. Uh, so that was one action from Zeb. I guess I can still move him. One, two, three, four. I don't know where it's safe from Palpatine. It's not like Palpatine can't kill anybody. I don't think either of us can do anything to score more points. I can, but if you have Kanan left still, right? Yes. This guy can run over here and grab two. Well, if, if you go here, and then it goes over here, and I then it goes here, Palpatine, you can get six points out of the... <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I those two points. All right, pick your poison. Yeah! All right, All right. blue. Uh, he's got one left, so four. All right, so now it's Kane's turn. turn. I mean, you can still book it over there, probably. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yep, just barely. That yeah. cinches it. Yeah, I guess he'll just double move there and grab me those two points. So you barely make it. You get two. Now where does it go? As long as it doesn't go to yellow? You pick. Goes to red. Oh. All right, shuffle, shuffle the rest of those up, will you? I'm going to go with Palpatine. 19. Oh, I'll still only be at 21 even if I pick up two more. Right, yeah, you would have gotten to the tie, but since I grabbed it. Yeah, so I go Kanan, Palpatine, one movement, banks me two, I'm at 19. If MOV was a thing, <laughs> it goes back yeah. to blue, and then the riot can grab you two more, huh? So that's two, three, one, two, and I don't have enough to double move on to him and yeah, keep going. But the riot can yeah, grab it. That's game. All because of, where did it go? It was this one. That one. All because of that. That's, that's Sabine. the MV, MVP right there. Yeah, Sabine would have been dead a long time ago. You would have had seven And then you were re-rolling. I drew tough luck. I was like, cool, this might swing it for me. Yeah, that was the most. I, now I see what, what this command deck is designed to do because I was looking at this one. I don't know if I like that and this, but these both push something a space away, which could trigger the parting book. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the game the, that is the most clear that it was decided by a dodge result. 
Because if Sabine would have been dead, that would have just been it. You would have had more points from me that whole game. And she would have been doing way less damage, because she did a lot of the work on Vader. Yes, she did. So I think it's fair to say that that list is definitely uh, something that works against Spectre Cell. Because you were doing really good, and you weren't depending on super swingy dice like I was. Yeah, I was just like, well, I'm just going to run Vader in there. And I, I did, I think, what I was supposed to do with Vader until he had one health left. And I'm just like, what do I do? 